am done with all of it. All I need is you with me. Nothing more. There's no need to spare a pest just to save a branch. Is there, Xion? You two, can you hear me? Huh. Who are you? You can just think of me as Xion's younger brother. I don't have time to explain much more than that. I never expected things to go according to plan to begin with, but they're progressing faster than I anticipated. You two need to be cautious. No way to read them now. There's no telling what they might... I repeat, an enemy presence has infiltrated the mothership. All operatives should receive intel on it. Wait, what? Listen up, Ark's operatives. It is I, Regius of the Six. No, she's 
right. The wheels of time are rolling on them. So I'm asking you to, please get to Shion. I'll do whatever it is I can to provide support. Orders are orders! So 
from the trio of heroes, no less. They said, <laughs> kill him dead. They said. or whatever. I just love getting to kill things! Don't worry. I'm on your side. Once I've finished killing you, I'll make sure everyone's safe. So please, let this end now. This is unprecedented. How could this happen so fast? Maybe everyone was so fixated on our little traitors that no one was ready. Goodness gracious! What a foolish, silly, adorable little mistake. Just makes you love art, doesn't it? And now here we are. And they still want us to handle the false spawn and the traitors at the same time? Whatever it is you're out to do. Even if that means going against Arcs. Or whatever you want to call what Arcs has become. You saved so many lives already. I want to believe you'll do the same here now. Go. Get moving. We'll hold them off. You guys go ahead. 
This might not make up for what we have done, but I still want to return for what I can. And me? Well, I just hate false fun even more than I love people. Border schmorders. My sights are locked on one thing and one thing only. Is this the best Code Abyss can do? Or is something else at work here? Honestly, I don't care much one way or the other. This was but an amusement to begin with. If some novel happening is underfoot now, let's see it. This could prove informative. Go on then, Arx. Fall spawn. Tear each other apart. Emergency! Code! Abyss! There you are, and with your little friend, I see. More Ox trouble? Do we have to fight more? Now, now, let's not get hasty. Code Abyss orders mean nothing to the six. Wouldn't be great. Plus, we're after pretty much the same thing here anyway. Control work, Huey. What have you got? Exactly what you'd expect, really. All three of them. Decked out and ready to go. And not just for fall spawn. I think they'll shoot anything. Whoa now! But you're you sure made it far. Now then, next you face me. Try. This is no time for jokes, eh? For either of us. Good work getting here, though. Sorry I couldn't help out along the way. Especially since it's our fellow Council of Six pals that are causing trouble now. That's why we need to be the ones to stop them, Huey. This one doesn't seem to be out for your heads. Is she a friend of yours or something? If, you, if you're here to ask questions, can it wait till we're finished? We don't have time to play. No, no, it's nothing like that. I have business here too. Zeno and... No, I've watched our friend here and seen everything they've gone through. That's how I know there's something behind all this that there's something they're here for. That's why I wanted to be here to help. 
I know that a certain meddling someone would likely do the very same thing. I was right. Toad Abyss hasn't had any effect on her? I think we may have found us someone special. Wait. All right, tag along then. But from here on, you need... I'm ready. Getting goosebumps here all of a sudden. Anyone else feel a chill? I'm feeling strangely cold too. Just nerves. Hey! Get back! Was that a technique? But who? Do you even have to ask? Here come the Watchmen, on to destroy all invaders of the Mothership. That's, of course, the most powerful members of art itself. You mean... Aha! Yikes! Happy to see me or something? That's one heck of a hello. Wouldn't you say, Claris Craze? Hasra. Well, if it isn't Echo, been a while, hasn't it? Sorry to get right to business, but I do believe you were notified that your friend there is an enemy of Ark's, yes? So why aren't they dead? I was taught to protect the rookies I train, even after they grow up. It has been some time, Maria. I would have preferred not to meet under these circumstances, Regius. I thought I knew how thick your head was, but even I didn't expect you to be this inflexible. Shall I? Take this to me. you wish to side with our enemies. I do wish to. I am. You know the Council of Six isn't meant to be a circle of friends. Then, the time for talk is over. We are the trio of heroes. Here to eliminate anything and anyone who threatens ours. And I'm here to expose that hubris of yours. 
Just as we arbitrators were meant to. Hasn't wavered a bit. I could say the same. I was hoping all that desk work had dulled your fangs. Huey, why are you helping them? I'm over here. Clarice Craze, are you still listening to what Clarissa there tells you? None of us seem too keen on this battle. Every one of us is pulling punches. Well, if Regius and Maria weren't holding back, this whole place would be destroyed. Worth remembering that. And I'm quite sure Clarice Craze never imagined she'd need to fight against her fellow Arx operatives. Comparatively, of all of us, it should be easiest for me. But that does not seem to be the case, now does it? You and that girl there seem to handle yourself quite well, however. I can see why people think so highly of you. Your other friend here, however, is quite the disappointment. She's like a fish out of water. Oh, shut up! Your skill set clearly leaves you more suited for a support role. Yet here you are on the front line. Do you fancy yourself the next Zeno? Even Zeno would have likely found himself much better off if he hadn't turned away from his own potential. Even up against Elder. Do all of you who chose to side with your friend here really have to insist on dragging them down like this? But... what would the point be... if he couldn't save anyone? Zeno might have survived, but he couldn't have saved anyone. Why would he choose that? That's why Zeno stood up front. Not with a rifle. But with a sword. Defending others. Even if you're right, and that held him back, don't you dare belittle what that choice meant! I understand what you're getting at. I do. But... You shouldn't allow yourself to get worked up so easily. Well said, Echo. Now then, isn't this just perfect? I'm glad I left the rest of those slow pokes behind. Is that... <laughs> Finally! Number four? But wait, I thought we didn't have a number four anymore. Sounds like perhaps not everything Clarissa is telling you is necessarily the truth, Clarice Craze. <sighs> hey there. And long time no see, Echo. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. This bad boy here was talking back a little. I cut it kind of close. Uh, Echo? Hello? Anyone in there? Zeno. Finally! She speaks! Jeez, you, 
Had me worried you didn't recognize me or something. <laughs> hey! What's your deal? You idiot! You big dummy! You could have at least told me you're alive! You could have come back! Lay off already! It's not like I had much of a choice. Maria there practically killed me, you know? Lie. You nearly died of your own accord. That's not what I mean, you idiot! Do you even... Do you know how long I waited for you? Do you know how alone I felt? Or any idea how scared I was? something I must do. Plus, you're ready to tap out anyway, huh? <laughs> I could never hide it from you. You've worked yourself way too hard. Don't overdo it. Yeah. Sorry about this, Missy. Can you take care of Echo for me? Huh? Oh, of course. haven't shown off in a while, right? Go on, and really give him the one-two! You bet! Well, it's been a while, Kasura. You know, didn't think I'd be looking down a barrel when we met again. Yes, well, I certainly never imagined, of course, that you'd survive for all this time, either. I had a little help, you see. They came in right when I was on my last leg. I owe them more than I could ever pay back. An all-new number four of the six. How long has it been since the numbers were all together? And with Nanaki in hand, no less. I never would have imagined we'd see anyone wield that again. I bet. Just goes to show you my time as a hunter paid off after all. Indeed. I retract everything I said. The real fight starts now. Behold! Florenberg! Looks like someone's finally getting serious. <laughs> Guess it's time for some teamwork, and to show them what we're made of. Ring out now! Nanaki! So... Clarence Grace. You having fun now? Uh. What was that you always said? That you wanted to have fun? Well, how about it? Having fun yet? <laughs> hey! Don't play deaf! Answer me, Clarence Craze! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Stop trying to trick me! I guess playtime's over then, number five. As I am Huey, number six of the Council of Six, I will end your days, Clarence Craze. Awaken now! Laura! Time to grow up, Clarence Craze! 
This is what it means to make enemies. Oh. You sure can hold your own, Zeno. Perhaps you did deserve the mantle of number four after all. I've been to hell and back to get here. Of course I earned this title. Listen, Kasra. You're not committed to ending this here. It was the same with you and Echo. You're waiting for something. But what? What? Indeed. Yes! Yes, yes! There we go! I'm in! Oh, right. Huh. Hi there, operatives! It's your favorite celebrity! Come on! Do I have your attention? Busy with your missions? Well, I'm sending each of you a special message. So, heads up! So, all of that evidence was falsified? This even includes data on the... Did you all get that? Did you take a look? Now, what do you have to say about all that, hmm? As I'm sure you've all noticed by now, every single bit of that... But despite that, all of you, except for maybe a few, I guess, fell for it hook, line, and sinker. There's all sorts of other goodies packed in there, too. Like everything that arcs, that Void was pulling behind You look at what that data has to say about me then.
Is that all, Luther? We are in the heat of battle here. Right, no, of course. That is not at all. You seem to be having such a tough time that I figured I would send you a little present. I'm quite done with them anyway. Slice them, bash them, do whatever you want with them, really. Everyone brace yourselves! So he's gone and released all the Claris Craze type clones, has he? What an unpleasant surprise. What? What are these? No one told me about them. No one told me! I... I am right here, aren't I? Who's that over there, then? You... Who are you? What are you? Tell me! Tell me, Clarissa! Clarissa! Please! Answer me, Clarissa! Why won't you speak to me? You always tell me everything! No! What's happening? I'm scared! So, so scared! Help me! Please! Somebody! Anybody! Help me! Hear me! You called? Claris Craze? Just take a nice nap now, and worry later. Hey, Regius. After all this, you're seriously still gonna go on about the safety of the Arcs? Really, tell me you're not. Because if you are, I'm about to end you. I've often thought how we might free ourselves from this bondage. Whether such a thing was even possible. But I continued to obey. Because servitude was the only way to preserve things. However, none of this is worth preserving anymore. You go on ahead. Do what you've come here to do. Focus 
focus all efforts on these Claris Gray's clones. Don't let even a single one through. They may be deteriorating, but they still have the same power as our own Claris Grace. And each is equipped with a mock Clarissa the Ashen. Just to make things worse. But remember this. These are soulless copies. Say no more! Luther seems to have lost all interest in Arcs. I'm getting no response from the Void, either. It was his fear of us that drove him to control us. But with his precious prize glittering in front of him, he seems to be growing impudent. All this time, he pretended to be beyond us. But here, his true, sickening colors are revealed. How many years has it been since we've... Since the battle with Elder the Gargantuan, at least. I am grateful you chose to... I only did as I pleased. You're the one who had to endure all this, Regius. Now then, enough talk! Come to me, Labrys! We've made it to the center, but it looks like it goes deeper. Maybe we should head in further? I have awaited you both. You have done well to make your way here. I haven't much time, and by consequence, neither does Arx. I will guide you both now. For as long as I can, deeper and further inside of myself.
feeling likely comes from our consciousness. The water you see around you is an ocean of thought. Our very existence. What does that mean? They were once the photons. Ones who grew to glory through their communion with me. But eventually fell into absolute ruin. They gave up their very humanity. But still wish to live. And so they chose to live. simply forced to evolve in a way necessitated by the actions of their people. It is true that if it were not for the Photoners, there would be no false one. Yet there would also be no such thing as Ox. They were avaricious, brimming with curiosity and a touch of arrogance with insolence. In essence, exactly what life should be. The true fault lies with me. I never should have stepped outside my role as an observer and granted them knowledge of photons. But you would have been so sad. I'm afraid that is an emotion beyond my comprehension. That's not true. You can feel it too. I know it. I know it because I was sad. I was scared. I struggled. I wanted nothing more than to be saved. I wanted exactly what I got when you arrived to deliver me. All my memories from then are long gone now. But I never once forgot your name, or the sheer joy I felt in that- You must have felt that way when you met the Photoners, too. Happy to be free from your isolation. <sighs> you must have been so lonely, Xi'an. How can you know this? Does our connection give you access to my memories? No. I can just feel it. I 
can feel how you must have felt. She was lonely, and so she reached out. I don't think that of itself was a mistake. That, that came later. She knew so. That's why you brought me and my partner together, right? To fix the real mistake? That unfulfilled feeling I had so long ago. Is that what it was? Xion! Hurry! Let's go ahead! Emergency announcement. Multiple false spawn readings are approaching the Ark's fleet. Like Luther said, he really is always right. You're really trying to head further in. Well, you can't. I won't let you. I promised. As long as I keep my promise, he only speaks the truth, you know. I can't. I'm going to keep my promise, you see. And I'll get her back. He's going to bring her back for me. He promised.
I made a promise. <laughs> Don't give me that look. I know, okay? I know I'm just being used here. I know that she isn't coming back. But if she's gone, none of this matters. Not what happens to me, or this place, or anything. Right? Right, Theodore? She's gone. She's never coming back. I know that better than anyone! This is some sort of illusion. How dare you take her form! How dare you mock me! Okay, leave this to me.
a breath. You earned a rest. Look! I... I'm... You've always been like this. You keep everything pent up inside until you're past your breaking point. You really haven't changed at all, have you? You still need me around to keep an eye on you. Jeez, Ulk, don't run off like that! You trying to get killed? Uh, wait, what happened? <sighs> I'm sorry, Sarah. I don't think I can take much more, though. You can both be as mad at me as you want when I get up. Right now, I just need some rest. Jeez! What were you even thinking? Leave these two to me. And you, you figure out how to bust through this door to get to the core. This is the last door we need to get through, in more ways than one. You can't force your way in. This isn't even a door that lets people in. <laughs> to begin with. You and Shion have a connection, right? Are you sure you don't know how to get it open? I never knew we were linked in the first place. So... You... And the toy. My chosen ones. Shion! You're in there, right? Open this door for us! the true unknown. So, um, you know. Good luck! Yeah!
This place is impenetrable. How did you find your way in here? Is that... Clarissa? It's certainly not one of mine. So, the original still exists. And as its wielder, you must be... Yes. Shion. You certainly kept yourself quite busy. Impressive, knowing that it would be all for naught. Let Shion go! Let them go? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. Shion and I will never be apart again. Not even for a breath. I finally come to understand her, you see. Now, her and I are to become one. And I will at last gain true omniscience. You're talking like a madman. Answer me this. They have long stood before your very eyes. Do you even know what they are? Why did this ocean of knowledge come to be? To preserve the past and foresee the future. To be, quite simply, all-knowing. The Photoners. No, I myself have long sought to understand all that she represents. Ar the Fallspawn. All of my research and experiments have been to bring me here and now. It was all just to understand them. To become one with them. And at last, I shall. The two of us will become one. I will comprehend the whole of creation. Well, not if I have any say. You will learn your place, girl. Now, kneel before me. Wh what's happening? I feel like I'm being pulled to the ground. Now. Even Regius tell you, I have complete control here. Gravity is but one of my toys. Do you get it now, my Ark's friends? Your fates have belonged to me since the very beginning. You have only lived up to now because my whims favored you. Now that Xi'an and I are one, I have no need of arts.
marvelous. Oh, this is glorious! I can feel the knowledge racing through my mind. This torrent of pure understanding is almost too much! You wish to challenge me, do you? Is a willing... None of you know when to just give up. Even Shion fell victim to this mindset of yours. Much to my dismay. I simply do not understand. You can see that Shion is gone, yes? Why then persist? to Xi'an? What is a promise worth in the face of infinite knowledge? And what worth is there in infinite knowledge? My body... Xi'an? Xi'an, is this your doing? Thoughts? Are these yours? Xi'an? No. Don't tell me you're... This is now my final request of you. One I hadn't the words for before. Stop, Xi'an! Don't you even dare think it! I've looked up to you all this time. I've come to know you. You would never! I ask of you now. I ask that you end me. This is your only chance. Here, now, while Luther tries to infuse himself into me. When Luther, the Controller, and myself, the All-Seeing, are fused as one, his hold over arms can be severed. Even if his physical form should survive, as long as I am erased from within him, all his plans will be undone. I beg of you, you, the last of my arms companions, grant me this one final wish. No! No, Xi'an! You can't! If I lose you, I lose everything! That's what Oracle is! There is nothing without you! But if I were to give in, Ox would be annihilated. The universe requires balance. No! Stop, Xion! Do you even know what would happen if your life were to come to an end? Listen to yourself. Is the future not exciting for the simple reason that we cannot see what it holds in store? It's all fading! All that knowledge! 
The knowledge, the understanding of the universe. I'm losing it. I'm losing it all. I'm done for. Everything is mothership. The very core of Oracle has now lost Shion. Fools have any idea what it is you've done? The universe has lost its one and only Xion. Do you get it? Do you know what this means? Because you fools, you witless, impudent, brainless fools, had to take her life! Controls, back online. All systems functioning as normal. All personnel begin full scans. What? What is the meaning of this? Who can hold this universe together? Now with Xion gone? Acquiring full control. That's the end. We pulled it off. We really did it, Xion. Get some rest now. And leave the rest to me. you do this to me? The universe of knowledge. My dear Xion. I had it all. But now it's... No! This is... Unforgivable. You will never, ever, ever live this down. I won't let you! Inside the mothership? This is massive. Definitely no ordinary false model. Has Luther morphed into something all new entirely? You are mine. Mine to end by my own hands! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. Kill you dead. 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 <laughs> Looks like I made it in time. Are you both all right? <laughs> Jeez. Hang on. What is that? I was told to go on ahead, but no one told me anything about that! You! And you! And all of you! You dare take up arms against me?! Against Luther! The Fallen! Can't 
you see, it's pointless. The universe is mine. All who oppose me will perish! to my dilemma. If I can become one with the all-knowing, I should simply become all-knowing myself. If I fuse the entirety of existence, becoming the universe myself. Yes. yes. This is it. I don't know I have never had such a perfect idea. <laughs> is he trying to draw in all the surrounding photon energy? This is like Get Him Hope Part 2! Fall back, or we'll all be dragged in! Fall back? Oh, don't be so naive, my failures. Don't you see? My first step towards omniscience starts with devouring the lot of you who sought to make a fool of me!
perhaps you can think of it more as settling the score. Me and Luther too are nothing but phantoms of the past, consumed by memories of bygone days. But you, you remain in the present. That is why you must continue on without thinking back. That is my wish and what we request of you. ahead to the future you wish to build. Here, 